Hello Soul Family. This is my new daily offering, tapping into the messages and energies from various symbols and sources, as always with my messages dash guided by the High Council comprised of Archangels, Gaia and other Ascended Planetary representatives from other star systems, Ascended Masters, Galactics, Fae, Animal Spirits, and the Dragons. Today is February 2nd, 2021 Your Daily Spiritual Guidance Today we have Sign, Libra Element, Air Animal Spirit, Horse The Number 9 Crystal, Diamond Tarot Card 9, The Hermit Card February 2nd, 2021 Overview Today is the first day of the February Stargate February 2nd, 2021 to February 12th, 2021. A stargate is when our entire quadrant of the universe moves quicker and actually moves through space. We have been getting further into the Milky Way, a few decades ago being one entire arm behind, and on the outer edge. Now we are further in, and up dash one arm closer to the center. This is what the age of Aquarius is about, the age of enlightenment means light in men more light coming in so that we are triggered to remember the truth of ourselves, what we are as incarnated souls, and the truth that there is so much more beyond what our reality tells us. The only way to achieve greater knowing and remember the truth, is to step into the light so that we may see. The hermit coming up for the start of the gate is very telling. Connecting with the energies of the stargate and tomorrow, having the hermit come up, the second nine of the day representing light workers, transformation and inward contemplation. I really feel that this stargate is going to have the effects of people wanting to be in solitude and conserving physical energy, even speech being minimal. Expect a day of reflection, and that vibe to last into the gate. There will be a lot of heaviness throughout this stargate, more than usual dash to keep us in that hermit phase. The weather in much of the Northern Hemisphere matches this energy to help us stay inside, where it's warm. Candles, fire and crystals are coming into the frame, maybe it's because the hermit is so closely tied to those like Merlin. He is big on both crystals, like I mentioned in yesterday's post, and candles are in abundance when I join him in his workspace. The symbology of the hermit, with the light, especially in this Crowley tote tarot really shows the reflection from the inner to the outer, the way the hermit holds a diamond, it coming up twice for today. The diamond is a single refractive crystal meaning that when light passes through it, it reflects out in a single beam of light, it doesn't spilt into two. The symbology here is obvious, stay laser focused on the light, don't get distracted with things that take you away from the inner. It's about using the light within to guide and that light shining outward. Also the theme and purpose of the light worker. The hermit is about going inward, contemplation, the truth, enlightenment- One thing is for sure that we need solitude to think and reflect and to connect with our divine counterparts. One thing to consider is how difficult it is to think about something while having a conversation with another person. When I work with people to get messages for them either through the cards or not, I have to get quiet to listen and think about the images and messages that are coming to me. The Hermit reminds us that in order to do the work we need to do we need to work on the inside, not the outside. This doesn't mean to stay hidden away and not go outside, but it does mean to retreat from too much social interaction. This makes perfect sense as we go forward in our journey for 2021-needing to take the time to sort things out before we move forward. Even our horse tells us that we are on the forward march, we will be climbing onto the chariot, but we need to stop and rest and connect with the energy of the soul map dash where we are to go before we just head out randomly, wasting precious time and energy just because we feel the need to go. That never makes sense and usually we find ourselves backtracking anyway. So it's time to stay put and work on the inner projects and sorting things out to help us we have tools like meditation, crystals and candles slash fire. Merlin speaks. Make it a point to have candles lit all day and night throughout this day and stargate as much as you can. The light from the candles in your space reflects the light inside of you. 
it purifies and clears energies around you so that we may connect, and heat slash fire is at the core of every crystal. Fire connecting to your crystals helps you to connect with the information that is sent through them to you. Merlin Sidebar, having candles lit all of the time is ideal, but there are times when it is most important. Make sure you use candles when you meditate and do any work with channeling, like using tarot and oracle cards. Today's energies, Libra Air Horses number 9 Diamond 9, the Hermit card. Moon in Libra Libra is a mutable air sign. I'm being reminded of the reading that I did for the air signs for the full moon on 1.28. However, those readings weren't just for the full moon, they were for the foundational theme for each of the groupings of the elements. The air signs are to work on clearing the static and fog around them and working to connect more with their angelics most specifically. Since it's our guardian angels that are always with us, and have been since birth, they are the ones that we can most easily connect with if and when we try. Once we establish those connections, the connections to everything else is so much easier even with our own souls. Our angelics help us to see clearly and sort out what is false versus what is the truth dash if and when we chose to pay attention. Accepting how we feel is a big part of how we are guided, asking for help and to be connected is key. Many meditations, work with the element of air on this day and throughout the stargate by lighting candles, and focusing on their light while taking deep breaths. Horse Spirit Swift, strong dash forward moving. The animal who carries the chariot. Freedom and expansion is what our horse spirit is saying to me at this time. The horse represents being carried into the future, achievement and transformation. The horse speaks. Trust me to carry you into the future. You can trust that we will not fall or be stopped before you reach your destiny. You don't need to fear pitfalls, I can see far ahead and take you away from things that aim to slow you or stop you. At the same time, I know when a rest is needed. At this time, I carry you to a freedom pasture. A land that is free of chaos and turmoil, energies that confuse. A place that you take a rest. It's time to go inside before we take on the next leg of our journey. I will walk and talk with you as we take in the sun and rest beneath the trees. It's time to think about where you want to go next. I will help you sort it out and together we will ride. Tilda your horse spirit. I was guided to look up the numerology for the horse, I haven't been guided to do with with other animal spirits, at least this is the first. Very on point, indeed. Name number, destiny number, is derived from all of the letters of your full name at birth. Horse equals 11 describes our character and inner strength. 11 equals strength, tension. Solarge number, heart's desire, number is derived from the vowels of your full name at birth. O equals 11 describes our inner ideals and hidden desires. 11 equals the desire to promote originality and exceptional plans personality number is derived from the consonants of your full name at birth. HRS equals describes the real value of our character. 9 equals ideals, desire for self-fulfillment through working for others. Number 9. 2.2.2021 equals 9 and the Hermit is the ninth card in the major arcana. 9 represents completion, the end of a cycle, and going inward. 9 is also the number associated with light workers. Our divine counterparts refer to us incarnates as the nines. Please visit my website link for further the companion information for the number 9 and the nines. 9 appearing 3 times for today. The date, for the hermit, and with the horse. Number 9 is the number of universal love, eternity, faith, universal spiritual laws, spiritual enlightenment. Diamond Purity, Lightness, 1. The energies of the diamond are reflecting purity and truth. The symbol of faith, love and devotion dash this is why it is the crystal of wedding rings. In this case, faith, love and devotion to the self and the soul and the truth of our destiny. The diamond light coming through this stargate will hit at the top of the head at the crown chakra, and reflect downwards in a spiral. 
I'm being shown a vision of a round diamond sitting at the top of the head, almost inside of the crown chakra halo. It is spinning and sending light through the star, straight down through our ascension column, spinal cord, then radiating outwards throughout the body. Pressure in the head and neck is to be expected for some of us. I've already been feeling this all day and was prompted to take a long nap today. Extra sleep will be needed for most of the nines on this day, and into the Stargate to help integrate this energy for transmutation of densities within the physical structure and to help guide us to our higher timelines. It's important to stay as high vibrational as possible deflect negative energy, avoid confrontations and impulsive reactions. Don't make long-term plans through the Stargate, although you may be compelled to do so, especially in terms of ending things or big shifts. Take time to allow for things to settle before creating drama and chaos dash if possible. 9. The Hermit Reading through my Kabbalistic tarot textbook for the Hermit, the ninth key, Yod on the Tree of Life, as so guided by Merlin himself. It just so happens that the Hermit is on page 199. One thing that pops out immediately is the comparison to the fool, child, to the Hermit, old man. Them being one in the same. The purity and innocence of the child, and the experience and wisdom of the old man being one. We are being asked at this time to see the relationship between our inner child and our inner wise man, the symbology of the soul yet to take form in body and the incarnated soul. Then we are to blend the two. We cannot be wise without being in touch with our inner child. Those who reject our innocent, wild, wide-eyed child sides will never ascend to the heights that are available. We cannot abandon our inner child for the sake of being wise, that is self-defeating and we will never be able to see and live and love as a child does, with the innocence, purity and fearlessness that is required in loving ourselves. Loving ourselves takes time and we need to be the hermit, go through the dark night and understand our inner child and our wise man as one. To do this we need solitude. We need just ourselves to remind us of what we started out like, the child who was fresh and new and had no idea of the more complex workings of life. Yet, we were highly connected and spiritual. Children are deeply intertwined with nature, down low and up high. Children see in the world in 360 degrees, and don't limit themselves until adults set limits and even then they are difficult and forces of nature to try to stop. Tapping into the inner child gets us closer to our wise man. To do this we must turn into the hermit, and go within. Reconciliation through isolation. We have been forced into a world of the hermit for a reason. Isolation solitude is the only way we can listen to the frequencies that guide us to the truth. Messages from our guides for February 2, 2021 We are with you and the collective as you step into the light of the Stargate, on this day. So much is at play to help you, and the rest of the nines. Your manifestation abilities are being cleansed and purified with the diamond light. This is to help you clear friction and static from your field and life in general so that you may follow your guidance more accurately, quicker and without as much confusion. Some of you will notice big changes in how you are able to visualize in your meditations. Deeper spiritual interactions are on the horizon, through the connections that are being made now. Today and in the next several days throughout the Stargate. You will be experiencing replays of negative situations and interactions with people from your past. This could go back many years. The diamond light coming in helps you to delete negative energies and filter in healing vibrations. Please remember this when you notice yourself thinking of things from long ago, however we are also working on clearing energies of the last year as well, as many of you have held on to the densities of 2020 for the larger collective. But at this time it is necessary to release these energies so that you may all move forward. Fear of the unknown will be less of a factor as the light body collective unifies with their own light and each other, creating a web of light over the entire collective. This will be a major factor in extinguishing the dominating negative, fear-based energies that have been applied to keep the material matrix up and the light from their missions.
we are working with you to guide you to healing. This can mean many different things from prompting you to eliminate specific food from your diet, going outside at a particular time, contacting someone to change your frequency, and learning new information and guiding you to people who can be partners in your healing. Try to keep your schedule clear of complex projects and tasks until after the Stargate, officially over on February 13, 2021. To help you get the maximum benefits of the incoming energies and this time of the Stargate, please take time to connect with us intentionally through meditation and throughout your day. We are always with you, you can speak to us at any time and this helps you to receive our messages back to you, or in general as we are always sending information to you. The more you integrate intentionally, the better and easier everything will be. Use this time this day and this stargate as a starting point for being intentional about your connections with us, your guides and guardians, your entire spirit tribe. Tilda your spirit guides. Morning Meditation Diamond Light and Timeline Codes This is a meditation to be done daily before leaving the bed, engaging in any activity throughout the stargate, and beyond if you are so guided. For the first day, Please do this meditation as early in your day as possible. Required, a clear crystal quartz point if you have one, or any clear crystal quartz, a Herkimer diamond, spinal or a real diamond. If you already have music playing while you sleep, that is fine, but do not go through the motions to put music on. Your mental state needs to be as close to the sleep, dream theta state as possible. Keep the crystal on your bedside so you have it in the morning when you wake up. Take it into your hands to connect and then leave it on your solar plexus. Center your body so your spine is straight and your feet are 2.5 feet apart. If you have big fluffy pillows, please remove them so your head is as straight and flat as possible and in alignment with your spine. Tune into the vision of the diamond at the crown and visualize the light coming through your ascension column and connecting with your chakras. Send that bright white light throughout your body, as you connect with Gaia. The work here is to integrate with the light and timeline codes. Filtering through you, into Gaia so she may send those pulses of frequency throughout the collective. Imagine your brothers and sisters of the light doing the same thing, all connecting. Do this for at least 10 minutes, more if you are guided. Each day, this web of light through you, and the collective will work to supercharge the light coming through this stargate. It will help with the symptoms of being exhausted, heavy and foggy. If you are guided to sleep or nap during the day, please do this practice before entering sleep and astral state. Thank and send love to your guides and guardians, and Gaia. Send love to yourself your brothers and sisters of the light and the collective. Happy 2nd of February and our February Stargate beginnings, lovely soul I truly hope it's magical for you. Please post any questions in the comments. Thank you for reading today's messages dash see you tomorrow. If you resonate with the vibrations of these messages, please visit my website to download my four new and free ebooks. The Essential Empath Guide what is psychic attack and how to uh, eliminate negative energy? The spiritual war, the light, the dark, and your energy. The importance of cord cutting with guided astral meditation practice. Infinite love and blessings, don't forget the key is to create, I love you already and always live in love.